and welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you how to create a really professional look to your longer assignments using some of the tools that are available to you within Word. So when you first look at this dummy assignment here, which is literally just created using some gibberish text I got off the internet, you'll notice that there's lots of things that mean it just doesn't look very nice. It, it looks a bit uneven and you can't see where the headings and subheadings are. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the start of the document and I'm going to use Control A or if you're on a Mac, Command A to highlight everything. And then I'm going to come up to the paragraph here and then using the paragraph, I'm going to create a nice big space between it. So I'm doing 12 point. And then over here where it's single line spacing, I'm going to change that to multiples. Now you can, it defaults to three, which is a bit big. You can do double spacing. You can do one and a half. I prefer about one and a quarter. It just means that the documents are not too long and that just looks a bit nicer for me. But one and a half is nice as well. So when we do that, you see what happens now. Immediately, the headings and the subheadings are very clearly visible now. The, the text is a little bit easier to read on the eyes because the lines are a bit better spaced. OK, but you'll notice it still has got that. This end line finishes very ragged. This is very straight on the left hand side, very ragged on the right. A lot of people don't really like that. So we're going to do again, we're going to do control A to, to highlight it all. And then we're going to use the justify and this will get both margins nicely lined up. And as you can see from that, that's already starting to look nicer. But you'll notice that all the headings, so my title, my chapter headings and my section headings are all the same and there's no differentiation between them and that's not great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my mouse up here, click on the title of this dummy assignment and I'm going to choose the title option from the styles. I'm then also going to do my chapter headings and I'm going to use heading one for my chapter headings. So heading one, heading one for chapter two and then I'm going to come to chapter three and I'm going to use heading one. And then for my subheadings, my section headings, I'm going to use heading two for all of my section headings. OK, so let's make sure I'm not miss one there. OK, so I'm going to use section two, uh, start heading two for all my subheadings are going to be using heading two. OK. And this will just keep all of them the same. It makes it very clear. Now you can then use sub subheadings. So you notice up here we've got three, we've got four. So we can change them. Um, and we can just make all this, the section headings the same. And now we've got nice section headings all the same. And there we go, nicely laid out there. It's very clear, very straightforward. Now there's one last thing I want to do. You'll notice here, that the chapter splits in the middle of the page. Now I can do that by just going enter, 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 but there's a much quicker way, which is again, if instead of doing that enter, 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 I just use the command, the control key, or again, Mac command key and then enter, and it will automatically start this at the top of the new line. And even if I then start putting more stuff here, this will continue to be at the top of the page every time. So again, we go to here, and again, we're going to use the same again. We're going to use control or command enter. And now all my chapters are nicely laid out. Now I'm going to show you here a real time saver. Now it's both a time saver and something that makes your work look really professional. And that is we're going to go to how to add a table of contents that, and get Word to do all the work for you. So I'm going to come here. This is where I want my table of contents. And the table of contents is in the review. So you're going to come to review, uh, not review, sorry, references. Get it right. I should know this by now. So we're going to come to references. I don't know why it's in references, really. It's a bit of a funny place for it. And you've got your table of contents here. So if I click on table of contents, it's going to give me various options I can choose from, different ways of setting it up. But really, I just want them the simplest one here. So, so you can experiment with different types, but I'm just going to do it here. I'm going to click on that. And what you'll notice there is a boom. It gets me automatically 
a, a table of contents. And what's really great about this is we've got one, two, one, one, two, three, three, whatever. So we've got all this here. But if, for example, I decide actually now I want, I've got my chapter here, I want to move it. So again, I'm going to do the control and then enter to move it. And you'll notice now that's moved. So whereas up here, if we have a look, chapter two started on page three. Well, now chapter two is actually on page four. But what you'll notice here is you just come to this table here. You've got update table, update the entire table. And it will automatically shift all those page numbers for you. So hopefully you can see why that really creates a very strong first impression. It's this table of contents, it, it, it looks good. It creates a very positive impression in the reader. It helps the reader because it lets them know exactly what they're about to read. And also by doing it this way, it is gonna save you so much time. So I hope that's useful for you and thank you for watching.